year also brings new higher fares to ride the RTD lines. Our Mackenzie O'Keefe is live at the light rail station at 40th and Colorado with all the numbers for us this morning. Mackenzie, great to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Brett. Yeah, this uh, fair hike actually happened very early this morning, 3 a.m. So if you're running out the door to catch the light rail or a bus to get to work, you're going to want to keep this in mind because you will likely notice the increase in costs. So we'll break down this fare change for you and what exactly it means. So for riders now, $3 for a local fare, $5.25 for a regional fare, and then the big one is $10.50 for a trip out to the airport. Now, seniors, people with disabilities and Medicare requirements, you can expect 150 for a local fare, 260 for a regional fare, and 525 out to the airport. Now, one of the biggest changes people may notice is a 70% discount for youth. That means kids and teenagers between the ages of 6 and 19 will notice a big deduction in the cost to ride the light rail or buses, whether they're going to school or to work. And these changes do come after RTD has asked for input on fare changes from thousands of citizens and riders. Now, another change that's not quite in motion just yet is a low-income program. A low-income rider will get a 40% discount, those who qualify for it, but that change will not take place until the summer. So it's just these uh, fare changes, these local fare changes that are taking place this morning. We'll have the breakdown of all of these numbers on our website, cbsdenver.com. We're live in Denver. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. All right, Mackenzie, thanks very much. Three people.